Hello Internet, it's your boy Daniel here. As my new apartment video background currently looks like this, oh. which is like someone put a black and white filter on a nice normal corner someone would sit in, that is just my personality as furniture right there. It needs some work. Please enjoy this 100% true story time about a traumatizing day of travel that I experienced. So strap yourselves in as we are about to go to a whole world of suffering. Despite me claiming to be focusing on my not so drastic metamorphosis into Daniel Howell right now, earlier this year I committed to going to perform at a YouTube convention in Florida with Phil and since we'd already be there, stay for a few days to have a little holiday. Now of course we did that whole tour thing last year, me and Phil have these professional US working visas which ain't your regular tourist ones where you have to fill out that form that says you're not a Nazi. Oh that pesky genocide box catching me out again. No I'm allowed in a special queue because I am a professional that sometimes works in the USA. Now if you want to use this snazzy thing you have to tell the government how long you're actually working for so I said to the embassy that I was at this convention for three days but I figured that because I still have a regular tourist visa, if I wanted to stay for a bit longer, I could sit by a pool and get some stuff done, like changing my icon to something new, which everybody loved. Or going through the description of every YouTube video I've uploaded, changing the social media links, which are now of course different, so that affects the thing that I had on the bottom of my videos forever, and also every collab that I've ever done on YouTube, I didn't think this through. So I land in Orlando, ready for this adventure, and start queuing up in the US Border Control. Now, I don't want to get in trouble for saying this, or probed by anyone, well, anyone. but USA immigration is fucking terrifying. Even if the worst thing you've ever done in your life is steal a mint from your grandma's purse when you were five, you will feel like you have robbed a bank, and they know it, Everyone knows it, you're gonna be caught, your whole life is gonna go up in flames, and you are a bad person! So as I nervously stood, profusely sweating, haven't done anything wrong, haven't done anything wrong, haven't done anything wrong, making me shimmer like a beluga whale to the point where the passport scanning machine doesn't even recognize my face. By the way, the morning I had this photo taken, I looked rough. I woke up at 6 a.m., I hadn't showered, the photo booth that took it looked like it was built in the 60s. This was my last photo, which I took in a Topshop photo booth, which we actually made a poster out of. Pretty bloody good, right? This is the new one. Jesus, it's like a before and after of taking every drug at the same time for a year. I need to just get a new passport and burn this one. We get to the front of the queue and there's two border agents that we could meet, a stern looking bald guy and a middle aged woman that just looked like a generic mum, so I valiantly volunteered Phil to go first. He gets called over by the bald guy, which yeah, made me feel slightly relieved, but in less than 20 seconds after some hilarious tiny banter that left them both giggling, Phil goes straight through and starts waiting for a suitcase. So naturally, when I get called over by the mum looking lady, I feel quite optimistic about this whole thing. Turns out this, I go to church and hand out cookies for free because I'm the kind of nice person that probably bakes and has a kind of cute dog looking lady is literally the They're listening down, don't get probed. A less positive person. <sighs> All right, next. Hello. Huh. And then the question that anyone that probably has any kind of job on the internet dreads being asked. So uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, Trust me when I say explaining the concept of making videos on the internet without them thinking that you're some kind of porn star is incredibly difficult and hard to understand. I make YouTube content. Isn't YouTube that place with the cat videos? It's actually a bit more than that now. No chance. But then, as if I wasn't already starting to drown under the weight of my inarticulate blabbing beluga whale tongue, she then says the worst thing imaginable. What kind of videos? Uh, comedy, I guess. <laughs> Comedian, eh? Uh, tell me a joke. What, what? Way to put me on the fucking spot. What am I supposed to say to that? It's not like I have anything prepared. I'll tell you what I did say. Well, not really a joke comedian, more of a person that shares his thoughts and uh, opinions or tells funny stories about things that have gone wrong in my life. Ah. That sounds kind of sad. Well, she wasn't wrong, and what can I say? She was inspiring. But then, just when I thought I'd gotten over the worst of it, 
my plans went up in flames. So it says here, I've been at this convention for three days. Yeah, but my friend is having a little family holiday after, so I figured I could stay for a few days and do some work over the internet. Well, you can't do that. If you're coming in on a professional visa, you can only stay for as long as you work in. Three days. It would seem I had fucked up, but if there was a chance that I could say something and get myself out of the situation, that did not happen. In fact, I said something that made it even worse. Okay, but my friend just got let through by that guy over there, and he's in the exact same situation as me, so isn't it just up to you to let me stay? Are you questioning my authority? What? No, 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 I, I, I'm just saying... Because if you want me to get my supervisor, he can take you back, and you can explain this to him, and you can point out your friend, and I'll drag him back there too! No, no, no. That, that won't be necessary. Oh, Literally. Now, not that I'm ever a confrontational person, but as tempting as it may seem to bust out the sass because you think it's unfair, there was a real risk of probing that I had to respect, okay? So I did not want to push my luck and didn't argue. But if I can only stay in the country for three days, then what, what am I supposed to do about this holiday that I'm hanging along to on my flight home? You can't. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd gotten over the worst of it, my plans went up in flames. So it says here, you're only at this convention for three days. Yeah, but my friend is having a little family holiday after, so I figured I could- Have sex with him in his parents' rental house. You know what I mean. Okay.